so what's up guys welcome to another video happy to have you on here so today we're going to be looking at, at an amazing javascript library today we're looking at cropper.js and as the name suggests is a library which is going to allow you to integrate an image cropper into your web applications or your websites so you can be easily integrated using this javascript library so you can find it at this url it's not going to be cropper but it's another name you can find it at this url maybe you can get it in the description below and yeah you have a very robust and solid image cropper which you can easily integrate into your web app so maybe you want your users to be able to upload images but you want to kind of control the dimensions of the images and so in this library you can set exactly that and give your users that functionality as you can see it comes with a lot of features you can set um, the aspect ratio you can set the dimensions you want to accept and you can set, set um, the different resolutions you want to go for and so it has all this bunch of features that you can put in um, this control is like equally integrate and let your users do just that and crop their images before maybe uploading into your database or wherever you choose so it's a very small library but it's very interesting and very powerful and it offers this amazing feature and so you can find such a tool already on very popular websites and basically websites which have a control on the image resolutions of their users have some features like this so on facebook you can crop your images before you upload maybe a profile picture and then basically any website where you have a profile image they usually offer that feature so it's using such libraries that they get to do that it's an amazing little library that you can do it equally has a photo editor you can integrate as well and some other features so yeah so this is a little bit it. We can check out some examples. You get a cropper with a range of aspect ratio, crop a round image, crop cross origin image on a canvas, in modal, customize, preview, and so on and so forth. So you have this whole range of features you can integrate. For example, this is a cropper that appears in the modal. So if we click here, you see how it appears here, and the person can easily crop the image like i am doing right now so imagine this on your website you can easily define which dimensions of an image you want to accept yeah so it's pretty straightforward so it's a simple library that allows you to do that you equally have a photo editor you can equally integrate a photo editor into your web app or your website where you get to select an image and the users can kind of modify it and do whatever they choose so let's try to see how it works it works so i'm going to put an image here so this is my image, I can easily move it around, crop it, there you go, crop it and zoom in and zoom out, rotate, flip horizontally or vertically and many many other features. So it just offers you the basic controls of how you want to edit your images and how you want to let your users modify them so it's pretty straightforward a simple library yeah so definitely you can check it out at um, GitHub, on the github repository and you probably have the documentation here which is going to show you how you get to integrate that into your projects so let's have a look at what it's like so yes the installation is pretty straightforward you can equally include it manually into your browser into your source codes and this is how you this is all the code you need to integrate that into your website or your web application yeah so it's pretty straightforward nothing complicated there it's just a little library i believe can come in very handy for anybody who is creating a web application or a website where users have to upload their profile pictures or any other pictures which might require um, um a re redefining their sizes or your dimensions yeah so that's pretty much it for cropper.js definitely check it out i hope you enjoyed the video catch you on the next one